thank you for joining us. If you want to solve this problem, if you are just joining us, subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. Now here, let's multiply through by the SCM of this. We have the SCM we give us. Oh yeah, the SCM is 4 minus x m squared. So when we multiply through the 3 fraction by 8, and uh, on this side we have 4 minus x squared, then multiply by 4 over 4 minus x squared, then minus, on this side we multiply as well, that's 25 over 4 minus x, then times 4 minus x squared. Then on that side as well, on the right hand side we multiply, that's 25 times 4 minus x squared. And from there, this one will give us, this cancel this now, 4 minus x, all square cancel each other. So we have 4 left here. So 4 left on this side. Then here, 1, 4 minus x cancel 1, 4 minus x. So we are left with 25 into bracket 4 minus x. Then equals to 25 times 4 minus x squared. Then from there, we can rearrange by taking this side to this side so that this side will be left with 0 now. And when we do that, what we have now, we have 25, 4 into 4 minus x squared, then it will be plus 25 into 4 minus x. So after we have taken minus 25, then minus 4 now, plus 4 become minus 4, then equal to 0. So we have this now. Now we do something here now. Let's express 25 here as 5 squared so that we have 5 squared into bracket 4 minus x squared. Also, let's express this 25 here as you know, 5 times 5. Then into bracket 4 minus x, then minus 4 equals 0. Then from there, We can see we have square square. So from law of indices, I can just write it as 5 multiply by 4 minus x. Then all raised to power 2 now. We can bring the power out. Then plus, let's use 1 5 to open this bracket and maintain 1 5. So we have 5 into bracket 20 minus 5x. Then minus 4 equals 0. Then from here as well, this 5 comes from the bracket and this will become 20 minus 5x squared then plus 5 into bracket 20 minus 5x minus 4 equals 0. Then from there now, we can see this looks like a quadratic equation by saying let 20 minus 5x be equals to a letter. Let's use that y here. Such that this equation will become y squared plus 5y minus 4 equals 0. And solving this quadratic equation here, our a is 1, coefficient of y squared, our b is 5, coefficient of y, and our c is minus 4, that is the constant. So y will now be equal to minus b, that's minus 5, plus or minus square root of b square, that's 5 square, minus 4 ac, that's 4 times 1 times minus 4, then all over 2a, 2 times 1. So, and when we solve that, we have minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 squared, that's 25, then minus 4 times minus 4, plus 16, then over 2. And y is now equals to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25 plus 16, that's 41.
then over 2. So we have two solutions here. That is y is either y equals to minus 5 plus root 41 over 2. Or we have y equals to minus 5 minus root 41 over 2. And the value of our y is 20 minus 5x. So when we bring that one here now, we have 20 minus 5x instead of writing y, then equals to minus 5 plus root 41 over 2. So let's solve this side first. And from here, this is over 1. When we cross multiply, this will be 40 minus 10x. When to multiply this, then equals to minus 5 plus or minus point of 41 now. Then we are solving for x. Sorry, plus. We have separated it. Plus point of 41. Then when we, you know, find x, we can take x to one side. That is minus 10x become plus 10x. So we are now have 10x. Then that will be 40 plus 5, then minus root 41, that is, taking all this one here and taking 10, minus 10 there, so when we are in, we have that, so this will be 10x equals to 45 minus root 41, and dividing both sides by 10, x will now give us 45 over 10, then minus root 41 over 10. And from there, we can reduce this one and say this is 5 can go, that's 9 over 2 minus root 41 over 10. So this is a solution for x. Now let's get the second solution from here. By also replacing y with 20 minus 5x. And we have 20 minus 5x will be equal to minus 5 minus root 41 all over 2 also when we cross multiply from here we have 40 minus 10x equals to minus 5 minus root 41 and when you make x 10x to come to that side and bring everything here and i can still write it as 10x equals to 40 plus 5 and plus root 41 now then we now have 10x, 10x equals to 45 plus root 41. Dividing both sides by 10, we have x equals to 45 over 10 plus root 41 over 10. And from here, our x will then be equal to, when we reduce this, this is now over 2 plus root 41 over 10. So we have these two solutions now as the value of our x. Thank you for joining us and do it to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.